dark in the back of the lorry. I can't see anything. I can just hear the lorry's engine and the cars on the motorway. Then, suddenly, something in the lorry moves. Hello everyone and welcome to this English Reading Practice. Today is Tuesday, April 11th, 2023, and I hope you can join me and help me improve my English. This short story by Oli Richards is called Crazy Paella, and I will share with you the reading of Chapter 3, The Motorway. Esta es una nueva manière de lernen, apprendre, apprendere, languages, and quantum fruta, accents, alphabet, culturen, sonidos, regole grammaticale, quickly and easily, alors, bon travail, et bienvenue à Lingosta. I wake up early at the hotel and have a shower. I order some food to my room. I have little money at this point. But I'm hungry again, so I take my time and enjoy. After that, I get dressed and leave. I notice the time on a clock in the hall. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. I wonder if mom has talked to Julia yet. My sister is a nervous person. I hope she's alright. I get to the hotel entrance. As I leave, I stop to think, how am I going to get back to Barcelona? I spent most of my money on the hotel. I don't know where a bank is. I can't get money from my account. And Julia is probably waiting for me. I need a solution, fast. Then I notice two workers. They are carrying boxes towards a lorry. On the lorry, there's a picture with the name of the company. I look more closely then start laughing very loudly. I stop myself quickly. I don't want to be embarrassed again. I can't believe it. The picture on the lorry is of paella. It's a lorry from La Paella Loca restaurant. I go over to one of the workers. Hello, I say. Good morning, he answers. How can I help you? Do you work for this restaurant in Barcelona? I ask and point to the picture on the lorry. No, I'm just a lorry driver. The man says, Do you know the restaurant, La Paella Luca? Yes, we bring rice there every week. It's for their paella, but I don't work there. The driver gets into the lorry. Suddenly, I have an idea. Excuse me, I say. Yes, the driver answers. Could you take me back to Barcelona? I ask. Now, he says. Yes. I reply, I have little money, I must get back to my sister. The driver stops to think, then he replies, OK, I guess so. Get into the lorry, sit between the rice boxes, and don't tell anybody. I won't. Thank you, I say. No problem, he says. Then he adds, quickly please, I have to leave now, I can't be late. I get into the back of the lorry, I sit down between a couple of boxes of rice. The driver starts the lorry. We head for Barcelona. I think it's a great idea. A lorry is faster than a bus. I can gain some time that way, and it costs me no money. I sit back happily to enjoy the ride. It's very dark in the back of the lorry. I can't see anything. I can just hear the lorry's engine and the cars on the motorway. Then, suddenly, something in the lorry moves. There's another person among the rice boxes. Hello, I say. Silence. Who's there? I ask in English. More silence. I know someone is there. He or she is between the boxes. Finally, I get up and walk over. What a surprise, Is an old man. He's hidden between the boxes. Excuse me, I say. But who are you? Leave me alone, please. The man answers. He speaks perfect English. What are you doing here? I ask. I'm traveling to Barcelona. Does the driver know you're here? No, he doesn't. I got into the lorry while you were talking to him. I see, I say. Suddenly, the driver stops. He gets out and heads towards the back. The old man looks at me with concern. Why did he stop? I don't know. There's a sound at the back door. I have to hide. 
says the man. The driver comes into the lorry. He only sees me. The old man is hiding behind the boxes. What's going on in here? He asks me. Nothing. Who are you talking to? Me? Nobody. There's no one else here. Can't you see? Listen, we're not in Barcelona yet. Be quiet. I don't want any trouble, understand? I understand, I reply. The driver closes the door. He goes back to the driver's seat. At the same moment, the old man comes out from between the boxes. He looks at me with a smile. I'm lucky that he didn't see me, he says. Yes, you are, I say. So tell me, why are you traveling from Valencia to Barcelona in a lorry? Do you really want to know? Yes, of course. Allow me to tell you a little story. Please, it's a long ride. The old man tells me his story. I have a son, but I have never met him. His mother and I were together many years ago. We weren't really a perfect match, but I loved her. Then I went to the United States. It was for a job opportunity. The job didn't go well. I couldn't get back. He paused. Then he continued. She moved away and I never saw her or my son again. Recently, I found out where they are. In Barcelona? Exactly. How old is your son? He's 24. That's the same age as me. The old man laughs. What a coincidence. Yes, it is. After a few minutes of silence, I get up to stretch my legs. I ask the man, what's your son's name? His name is Armando. He has a flat in Barcelona. It is in an area near the restaurant, the Crazy Paella. That's why I'm in this lorry. The Crazy Paella, also known as La Paella Luca in Spanish. The man in the lorry is my friend Armando's father. I can't believe it. And this is it. Let me know what you think. And thank you. C'est fini. Merci. Gracias. Danke. Shukran. Shesh. Et And thanks for watching and listening to Lingosta.